Hi there. So for this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own Safex Cash wallet address offline uh, without having to set up a node or uh, use the uh, Ubuntu uh, command line interface to create your own wallet. Now, a little caveat with this, this is just a wallet address. If you do need to access it for whatever reason, uh, let's say for example you want to transfer some cash from one address to another or you want to check your balance, you will need to create a node um, to be able to connect to and to download the wallet, the CLI wallet, to be able to import this address that we're going to generate and um, do the various things that you'd want to do with an address. What this allows you to do though is with this short period of time between now and when the graphical wallets are being created, are going to be rela uh, released, um, I believe it's in the third week of September they're going to be released, so anytime between the 17th and the 23rd of September the graphical wallet is going to be released. So this is for people who are really keen to start mining but they don't want to have to go through the process of setting up Linux, setting up Ubuntu and uh, downloading the relevant files to uh, run their own node and wallet. Now with this process uh, you are able to uh, restore the keys and import them at a later date into the um, the the main wallet system on the node if you needed to, if you needed to manipulate any of the money transfer it from one place to another um, but this is just the assumption that you're happy for it to just stay in a wallet any cash that you mine is going to stay in a wallet address until the graphical wallet uh, graphical wallets have been released and you import it into that so obviously there's a little bit of risk uh, involved here um, if you think you're going to be mining quite a lot of cash I would really recommend you set up your own node so you can uh, run the Safex wallet CLI. Uh, I will do another video showing you how to do that in a bit. Um, so obviously just keep that in mind. Uh, obviously I can't um, I can't emphasize that enough that we, we simply don't know how this new graphical wallet will work. Uh, but an educated assumption is going to be that you're going to be able to import these keys in properly anyway because um, it's all part of the CLI system anyway so it should be fine. So what we need to do is you need to go to tools.safexnews.net uh, so it's tools.safexnews.net and I've added a new section here it's called offline wallet generator so if you click it it'll send you to this page now first of all obviously um, credits to uh, Xminer Pro uh, he's the one who managed to generate this um, tool for us. It's actually based on a Monero tool. Um, I'll show you uh, the Monero Move uh, wallet generator. So the source code is available for you to view. Uh, it's an all in one page. So if you're not too sure, if you're a little bit skeptical and you've got a little bit of programming experience, you can right click and view the source and then just go through just to make sure you're happy with everything because obviously this is a, a wallet address that you're talking about and, and money's involved. So there's two ways that you can run this, you can either run this directly off the Safex News website or you can save the actual web page itself and run it in offline mode. Uh, basically you just save it disconnect yourself from the internet and then you can still use the page even if you're not connected to the internet anyway but let's let's do that actually so you right click save as and it's going to go to my download page my downloads um, thing so if I just close these down the page size off and run this let's just run it in Firefox you see this is actually running from a local computer. I could disconnect my internet, but I haven't got time for that at the moment. And what you need to do is press generate wallet. If you press generate wallet, it might come up with this little pop up here. And there's several things that are generated here. So you've got your public address. So this is the address that you need to save. What I tend to do is create a notepad file. I click save, just paste it into there. So this is your Safex address, this is your public address, this is what you give your miners, uh, this is the address that you give the pools, 
if you want to uh, mine Zephyx Cash. And this is where your rewards will go. Now, to recover this address um, and to be able to import it into the, the master wallet system, you need these, they're called mnemonic seeds. Now, there are, three, there are seven, oh, there's multiple words here, uh, 25 words in total, that are used as a, um, what's called a seed, which are used uh, when generating your uh, addresses. You also have your private keys here as well. Uh, these are optional if you want to record these. If you've got this, you'll be able to restore these and that anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. So if you just copy that as well, and you paste that into your, uh, let's just, into your notepad here. Also just save this, uh, desktop, video example. And there we go, so you got your address. The next stage is if you want to start mining, and now I'll post another video showing you how to mine for um, XMR stack and also the XM rig mining softwares. Uh, but for now, you've got your mining address, uh, your wallet address, sorry, and uh, the means of being able to, to restore it as well. So I'll just actually go through the process of restoring this wallet so we can actually load this into the CLI wallet. Now I've already got my terminal loaded up here with one of my nodes. Just doing ls. You can see we've got the safexwallet.cli. So I'm going to go safexwallet CLI. There's a special command that you also add, and it's called restore deterministic wallet. So if we just paste that into there, press enter. I'll go through this is the process of being able to uh, restore your wallet. Let's give your wallet a file name so it's restored wallet. So specify Electrum seeds. So this is the seeds words that we were given earlier. So you just right click in your terminal. So enter encryption passphrase. There was never one uh, set, so empty. Enter a new password, set the password for your wallet. There we go. Uh, so it's generated the wallet. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just get through this a little bit first. So restore from a specific blockchain height. That's an optional um, thing, but default is zero. So you're starting from block zero, and then you're restoring the, uh, the wallet from block zero, and then scanning through all of the uh, blockchain to make sure that this wallet hasn't been used before, if there's any transactions that are on it or anything like that. So uh, obviously it's a new one, so you're not going to find anything, but we'll just let it run through anyway. And there we are. So if we just do address, We'll see that we've got an address here, and let's just let's just right-click to, uh, to cut that. And if we just paste it into Firefox here, you'll see it's an exact match. So it's actually been able to restore. Um, let's just do that again. So it's been able to restore it in the CLI wallet. So if you did need it, for, if you did want to, um, also. Um, <clears throat> manipulate the account, transfer your cash out or anything like that, you'll be able to import it into your CLI and no doubt you'll be able to import it into the graphical interface as well, the graphical wallet and go through this process as well once it's released. Uh, what else we've got? Um, so you've got your spend key here, so if we just type in spend key with the password it'll give you your secret key here, let's just cut that, if we do another search, control F, paste, you'll see that the spend key is there and you'll see that the uh, the view key as well is there as well. So that's a way you can um, generate yourself a wallet address if you really um, if you're really determined to start getting to uh, getting into the um, mining uh, but you don't want to set up uh, one of these nodes or learn how to do all of this and you're quite happy to wait until the graphical wallet's out then you can just use this page um, use this uh, tool here to generate a key 
So the next video I'm going to show you is actually how to set up a node and also set up a CLI wallet. I think it's quite important that you at least learn the basics of setting up a node and the CLI wallet. Um, just so you can understand how the blockchain works and everything and all but also if you want to spend any of the cash or transfer or any of the cash or check your balance or anything like that uh, you'll be able to do so in that way so yeah let me know how you think about this video if uh, anything was a little bit confusing or if you want uh, an explanation a little bit more in depth of how this all works just let me know leave a comment um, and I'll get onto that for you. I'll also try and get a written copy of this done as well for you. Uh, I'll post it onto uh, the guide section of uh, SafeX News uh, so you can also uh, follow this in your own leisure so you're not following along on the video. You can just uh, print it out or something like that. So, yeah, let us know what you think. Uh, and as always, uh, just leave a comment or a thumbs up or whatever you want and uh, let me know what else you want to see. Thank you.